This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to be going over iOS 17.1 beta 2 on this iPhone 15 Pro. So let's go ahead and talk about First off, the build size. So I'm gonna open up photos here. You guys can see I took a screenshot of this beta and it came in at 865.3 megabytes. So decently sized for this beta. You guys can see the build number here ending with an E. So you know there's quite a few more betas to go. Uh, although I do expect this to be live for everyone by the end of October. But let's talk about a few new things. First off, there's just some stupid stuff like reachability no longer has a double notch. So it's all black there now. Uh, instead of showing the wallpaper. They brought back all the custom ringtones again and all the new ringtones as well. So there's a few little changes here and there, but a couple of things that no one else seems to be talking about that I'm gonna talk about is first of all, this battery icon. It looks really bad. They messed this up big time. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. This is the before shot and this is the after shot. You guys can see how squared off it looks. It just looks so bad now. So after, before, looks really good, looks really bad. So hopefully that's just a bug and they're gonna fix it, but it looks really bad right now. Another thing they changed is the default vibrations and haptics for different apps. So when certain apps send me a push notification, the buzz, instead of it going bzz, it's more like a bzz, like it's really weird. And it's it was a little jarring at first when I got some alerts uh, because it kind of like hangs a little bit. It's not like a crisp, it's very hard to explain, but it's not like a crisp like bzz, where it just goes and then stops. It's like, it goes and then it like fizzles out. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's a bug, very strange, uh, but that's something that they did do to this beta. We'll see if it stays. If it doesn't stay, then it's definitely a bug or they're just testing out if people like it, but I don't know. I have mixed opinions on it. Seems kind of weird to me. So that's pretty much it with this beta. I did notice my phone felt cooler. I don't know if Apple is actually doing something to make the phone cooler. My iPhone 15 Pro has never had a heat issue with any apps, Instagram, anything. Doesn't matter. No heat issues at all here. It does even feel colder than before which it was already colder than my 14 Pro or just about on par with. Either it's a placebo effect or this thing is actually getting more optimized, so I am liking that. So if you're on the first beta of 17.1, definitely update to this one, no issues there. In fact, this beta is quite a bit better. I don't have any performance issues and opening apps and switching between different apps and doing things seems a little bit faster than before, which is kind of strange to say on just a beta two, but I think this beta is going to go a long way and I think it's gonna get even better as we go. So be sure to keep it locked to the channel, subscribe, turn on push notifications so you guys don't miss a video. If you like this one, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, especially if you like the fact that I didn't make this video eight minutes long. And I didn't stick a bunch of ads in the middle of it like some of your other favorite YouTubers do. That's all I got for this one, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, peace.